the main thing, this is our main facility obviously. Behind you we have the restaurant, over here we'll set up a long table. And we've got the bar in there, with our lovely pool, and then we've got our pavilion, our conference centre. So we do conferences, we hope we'll get into that over the years to come as well. Yeah, at this end we've got 15 safari quarters, as I call them, or luxury tents, or premium tents I should say. And then down here we have 10 cabins, which have been fully transported from Queensland, along with 50 of the actual lodge facilities. Okay. Some of the activities we're conducting, obviously being next door to Kakadu is the main one, okay? Our Kakadu day trip is a signature tour. We've got our home billabong, or Canellan billabong down there, so we do a morning billabong cruise. Uh, it's 10 seater. We're about to start up on the Merry River and do a Merry River cruise. We've got quad bikes, or ATVs, which are conducted out onto the National Park. We're the only operator allowed to do quad biking in national parks in the Territory. Uh, there's very few in Australia actually, so we're very lucky to be able to do that. We do culture walks with Nettie, okay, we do stargazing, we do cooking demos. We have 15 tents, five are uh, four capacity of four, okay, so two adults, two kids is what we're looking at. We've got five tents which can sleep five, so two adults and three kids. And then we've got five tents, we'll just sleep two people. Either split king size bed or one king size bed. All the beds we have here are king zippered, or the main beds. So we've got bunks in five tents and we've got trundle beds in another five. And for the big families, we've got two. So this will sleep uh, eight all up in, in between here, okay? All the rooms are exactly the same structure, okay? There's no difference in that way, it's just the bedding configuration. They're 65 square metres. Okay, so unlike a lot of premium tents, they're actually distinct living areas. So you've got your bathroom, you've got a walk-in, walk-through wardrobe, you've got your bedroom, you've got your sitting room, and then you've got your front deck. Sam, which actually over the room for a person who's buying a hotel. I'm so glad we've got the hotel. Yeah, they're out there and creating a name for itself as being going to month. You know, people don't mind paying a little bit more as long as it's about when they stay. Uh, I'm not making money from them. We're actually cheaper, and look where you are. And I guarantee the service you get here is individual service. They're two brothers, the Tamil brothers. They are Owen Miller. They are lovely country, and they're very happy to be working here. They're actually very glad to be working for a while. That's the air trip. Uh, people want to come into Darwin. The food's a special item here as well, it is, isn't it's, it? It's a big part of everyone's stay. We are a premium resort, so we like to think that our food is of an exceptional standard and we use a lot of local product, especially, because it is where we are. We are close to the Arafura Sea and we are uh, in the Northern Territory, which has the Barclay Tablelands, which is famous for its beef. So we, we try to use a lot of local product, local barramundi. Uh, barramundi is one of our signature dishes. Uh, and we use a lot of it because it is, you know, an icon in this area, in the Northern Territory's Barramundi. So we use uh, local tiger prawns a lot, uh, Morton Bay bug, so local produce. So it plays a big part. You can sit down at the dinner table at Wildman Wilderness Lodge for up to four hours. So an hour for breakfast and an hour for lunch and then two hours at dinner. So a lot of people don't realise that uh, you do spend a lot of time eating, so it needs to be uh, of an exceptional standard, which it is. We, we try and give our guests the, the best of both worlds, so if you're here on your honeymoon you can be as private as you like and stick to your, yourselves as you like, but if you're here with a family sometimes it's good to get out and meet the other guests, you know. We're trying to, to get that feel that you are visiting family and friends uh, at Wildman, so uh, the, the occasional night I invite all the guests to sit down and, and dine at a communal table with myself or any of the other staff, whether it be Nettie, one of my tour guides, or Aaron, the head chef, um, because we, you know, we like to talk about Wildman and we like to talk about the guests and where they're from and, and what they do. And to sit down at the communal table is something that we did a lot in the days gone by. You'd sit down over a dinner table without any TV and talk about the day's activities or what you're going to do tomorrow. So we want to bring that back to Wildman, and it's been very well received. <laughs> Okay, we've got three salads there. We've got potato salad, a mushroom salad and a garden salad. Then we've got tiger prawns and the fish and there's some fresh bread rolls there as well. Just 
over here we've got the airstrip. As I said, we've just burned for obviously safety reasons. Uh, we expect the airstrip will be open within a month um, and then we've got to have it surveyed obviously for, for legal purposes. We expect it between 800 and 900 metres long. We don't know exactly yet because we've got a billabong at the end of the runway and a, a grey water plan at the other end. So you'd want to be missing both those by the time you take off on the plane. Um, so between 800 and 900 metres, hopefully twin engines, but we'll let, uh, that'll go on our website. 